Welcome to Box Mining. My name is Ron. I'm an analyst at Box Mining. And if you have seen me on Box Mining Plus before, there's where we all talk about airdrops. Now, among the videos in our Box Mining Plus, Satoshi VM is a very hot video. It's actually catching up to our Milky Way video, the Milky Way airdrop video. Now, there's several updates with Satoshi VM. And as for you guys, the OG Box Mining viewers, you wouldn't want to miss out on this because I think this is a very big deal. There's pretty lot of big investors and the FDV for the token itself is actually very low. So once the token comes out, the pumps for it, the potential is insane. And if you're farming the airdrop right now, it's it's really, really big. It's super worth it. It's so easy to do. So in this video, I will show you how to interact with the Satoshi VM testnet how to potentially qualify for the airdrop, as well as several key developments and updates with Satoshi VM, right? And I, without further ado, let's dive right in. And I always want to do this, so boom. And we're back, look at that. So for those of you who don't know, Satoshi VM is essentially a ZK rollup for uh, Bitcoin that is actually compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine ecosystem. I think this is one of its kind because it's essentially it's a Bitcoin protocol that allows you to bridge to Ethereum natively. So it uses Bitcoin as a native gas token, right? Now, we have a full guide on boxmining.com step by step. So you can go straight to this website. It's very straightforward, but I'll take you by your hand and do it step by step. Okay. So before we get into this, though, I want you, I want to update you guys on what's happening with Satoshi VM. So recently, uh, actually, yeah, it's been open for 72 hours, the testnet. That's when you know we are super early. And according to their roadmap, this is 2024 Q1. This is their first phase of the roadmap and it's already completed so fast. Like it's not even three weeks in, it's already done. So the next phase is called the Satoshi VM Lite. And this is what we're gonna look forward to. And I think the swap function will be open very soon. So for now, the only thing you can do on the testnet is the BTC bridge and the Savam bridge, which is basically Ethereum Sepolia. All right. So apart from that, like the numbers speak for themselves. It's already insane. I would say it's actually kind of over farmed, but still the, it, the airdrop space across different ecosystems is so competitive. So you have to pick your battles, which kind of ecosystem you want to play into. So if you are big on ordinals, Satoshi VM is the play here. So hello, Aromatic. Hello, Angela. How's it going? All right. And another important announcement and why I think the airdrop could be happening very soon is they're going to be launching a launch pad. So it's going to be two rounds. So there's going to be an IDO and a random selection round. So follow them on Twitter for, for the official steps that you're going to do. It's going to be held on Bounce Finance. So you're going to need auction to buy tickets to participate in the random selection round. And this is a good thing. Even if you don't win, you can claim full refund. So I like that. So for several launch pads, they don't really do that. So that's kind of the risk that you have to take. But for here, well, hopefully that you can actually claim full refunds if you don't win any SAVM, All right? And then for the ILO round, it's going to be bigger because for this one, you can claim weekly Ethereum and SAVM rewards. So uh, passive income, you're going to be, yeah, you're going to be benefiting from the trading fees from their AMM. So I like that. I like that. All right. Okay. Now let's dive straight into the steps. Let's not waste any more time. Super fast. Right? So the first thing you have to do is head on over to testnet SVM scan. It'll take you here. You don't have to manually connect, uh, the testnet, the Satoshi VM testnet to your MetaMask. You can just click on this button right here, down here. Do you see that? Let me move this here. Yeah, click on that link, press automatically already. Now, the second thing you need to do is you'll need to set up a Unisat wallet. So if you've played around with uh, uh, ordinals and inscriptions before, you, sh you probably already have a Unisat wallet. But if you don't have, you you'll need to download one 
and then ex uh, put it in your Chrome extension and uh, set it up uh, ASAP. <laughs> set it up ASAP. Now, all of the links will be in the description down below. Uh, so you can just follow there super, super easy. So the third thing that you'll need to do, and also, keep, uh, yeah, I forgot this step. So once you've downloaded your Unisat wallet, it's going to look like this. You'll have to hop onto the Bitcoin testnet. So on default, it's going to be on the uh, live net, right? So what you do is you go to the settings here, if you can see it clearly, and then switch on over to the testnet, right? And an important thing to note is all token transfers done in the Bitcoin testnet has to be... Uh, the native SegWit address. So not the Taproot, not the nested SegWit, not the legacy, certainly not the legacy. It has to be native SegWit. Okay. All right. Now, the third thing you can do is get some testnet Bitcoin. So you can use both of these faucets. So uh, the one I use is Bitcoin faucet. You can claim up to 0 0.0009. Okay, that's good, right? Because 0 0.0008, they raise the cap. So it's pretty good. So you put your Bitcoin your Unisat wallet here. So you copy this, paste it here. So you can claim maximum if you want, 0 0.09, and then send testnet Bitcoin. And you have to do the CAPTCHA. Traffic lights, motorcycle. Why is that blurred? Does the wheel count? Okay, verify. There we go. Wait, wrong volume, hello? Eight, then testnet Bitcoin. Stairs. That's a stair. Okay, there. Now it's sent. Now the next step that you do is you head on over to the Bridge Testnet website. So you click on this link and it'll take you directly here. So there are two bridges you can play, BTC Bridge and SAVM. So BTC Bridge would be the, the number one priority here. So you'll have to connect both of your MetaMask and your Unisat wallet because one is a source chain and the other is the destination chain. So you'll immediately see after you receive the testnet Bitcoin, you can deposit as little as 0 0.00001. And there it is. Deposit and sign the transaction. And it, you can see on the Block Explorer. So all of your transactions coming from the Unisat wallet, you can trace it here in mempool.space. So, so far, this is just for the transaction hash. But if you copy and paste your, your Unisat wallet address, you'll be able to see all of the transactions that you've done uh, from the BTC bridge. Okay. At the end of the day, the Satoshi VM here, this is your destination chain. So you're all sending it from the Unisat wallet. You're receiving it on your MetaMask. Same thing for the SAVM. This is newly launched, I think, yesterday. This one, you'll need Ethereum Sepolia to, to claim the TSAVM faucet here. So the websites that you can use are Sepolia Faucet and Infuria. So you'll need an account for them. And there's a daily cap that you'll have to do <laughs> to, to claim the Sepolia ETH. Right, so same thing. I have 0 0.39, so I'll just say, what's the minimum, actually? So I can save as much as I can. Okay, 0 0.001. And then switch the network to Sepolia. And pay a little bit of Sepolia ETH. That's not bad. Transaction sent. So you can also check this on the Sepolia Ether scan. So you paste your wallet address here and you can see the transactions that you've done so far. Now what you notice is that why is it not uh, the, the native SegWit address? Because Satoshi VM at its core is EVM compatible. So what you see is that pretty much all of them are 0x addresses. I mean, if you go to the, the Testnet Explorer, if you paste your Unisat wallet here, you won't be able to see anything. So it's all through your MetaMask when you're using the Satoshi VM Testnet Explorer. So you, you can connect it here and you can see the transactions that you've done so far. So all of the bridging, you can find them at internal transactions. And you can see these are all for the BTC bridge. The, Ether the, the Ethereum Sepolia, you can trace that in your Ether Sepolia Ether scan, right? So where did I go?
Okay, and the token transfers are basically the the faucets that you're minting the uh, yeah for the TSAVM faucet. Yeah. Okay, and that's it, right? It's super easy. All you have to do is just follow those steps, plain and simple, and we can answer some questions. So, uh, I didn't know how to bridge ETH to Ethereum. You can do that on Bybit. So on Bybit, when you're withdrawing Ethereum, it will say you can select your network. So you can choose. There's so many Ethereum, like ETH layer twos that you can choose. You don't have to pick Ethereum. The, the fees are much cheaper if you pick at, uh, Arbitrum or Optimism. You can't get any if you don't know what a motorcycle is. Would you say one of the requirements for this potential airdrop is knowing what stairs are? Certainly. Certainly. Okay. Now, why I think this is big, why I think the airdrop is imminent, because for now, there's no official announcement of an airdrop. So Toshi VM says that there's no current active SAVM at this moment. But the fact that they're doing a launch, a launch pool means that there's a strong chance that they're taking regular snapshots of the people who are interacting with the bridge. So, so far I have 16 transactions. I think I have to ramp that up. I'm so busy with the other, <laughs> other ecosystems. I think it makes sense that we're going to have to make a spreadsheet show you all of the ecosystems that you can play around with. It's not just the Cosmos ecosystem, guys. There's so many more others. I'm recently interested in the Soy ecosystem. There's a lot of airdrops there happening as well. So guys, follow us on Box Mining Plus. This is where you have all of the alpha in-depth guide content on airdrops. I know it's a mess right now because there's so many. And this is good feedback because we asked Natalie, even some of the viewers, right? You guys are like, wow, there's so many airdrops. I don't know where to begin. We will make one where your starting point is. We'll show you a spreadsheet of what to do, some criteria. Is it confirmed or not, the airdrop, you know? And all of that stuff, right? And why I think Satoshi VM in general is big is because a lot of big investors are investing in them. So Mac is one of the OG uh, Twitter influencers. He invested in Satoshi VM. So I think he's in contact with the team and he's he's suggesting that we should just start farming. And the fact that he used the word farming means that there's gonna be an airdrop, right? I think Mortaza also, they met the developer. And Kaduna made a very good point. He thinks that there's gonna be a very small F, uh, FDV for the SAVM token. Now, because there's gonna be a launch pool first, they're going to get the advantage of reaping the uh, the the pump. But airdrop farmers, obviously, we get it for free because this is testnet actions, right? So based on their roadmap, let's see what they have. Bridge release. So maybe when the mainnet is launched, we can transact a little bit. And hopefully by then, BTC gas would be a little bit cheap uh, bridging from, from Bitcoin to Satoshi VM. But I think the fact that people are really, really sure that there's going to be an airdrop for testnet users. I mean, why not, right? That's what all testnet airdrops is all about. And uh, that that's what happened to, what's it? Stripe? Is this Stripe? No, it's not Stripe. There's another one. Stride. Stride, yes. So for Stride, they rewarded testnet users first and then they rewarded mainnet users so it's very very good that's what i'm hoping for so yeah i hope you guys find that helpful follow us on uh twitter we also have a box mining plus page and you can also follow me uh, on twitter so i'm ron box mining and we have a box mining plus account so all the alpha very casual very chill also educational yeah all that stuff. So let's see. Uh, Aromatic says, Hi, Ron. I have done this Satoshi VM testnet. I think you need to do 30 transactions to qualify. Really? Certainly. I, I'll ramp it up. I'll ramp it up. Thanks for the info, brother. Okay. You need to send the SAVM. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I got you. All right. So guys, my name is Ron. Shining out.